Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you the new Diamond Press kit called Snail Mail that Diamond Press has brought to HSN. Um, we did say these items free of charge from review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links out in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased items through those links. Let me try to open this from this other side. Um, I think I'm going to pair this with some fun background from the foil roll kit because I don't think I've used it. I showed it to you guys in the unboxing of the Today Special. Um, and you know, the Today Special is live there and you guys can check it out with the different presentations and things today. But um, I think I'm gonna use the foil roll, so why not? So let's check this out. And you guys, I mean, this is just the cutest. You already know, it has an envelope. I mean, I'm good. <laughs> I love the envelope. So cute. Uh, the envelope size, like once it's all folded up, we'll make a little envelope that is like one and a quarter inches by, uh, I must be looking at that wrong, hold on. Yeah, one and three quarter inches, sorry, by one and a quarter. I was like, it doesn't look like a square. Um, so really cute, so you have this uh, little guy here, but let's look at the inspo sheet so we can kind of see what we're looking at as far as the snail mail. Look at the little stack of cards, that is so cute. I love that stamp, and then it has a die for it. You know, you have, um, what could look like a postcard or like a an envelope with a stamp and then you use that same die and you can have you know either or look at the little cancellation all these cute little things oh my gosh if desired stamp postmark embellishments <gasps> that is so cute look at because this already came with us and then you can do some a few other little like cancellations all that kind of stuff the post box itself which is adorable it has a pedestal type thing if you want to stamp that and then stamp this guy there's a die for this part and when you use the die it actually cuts this area so it opens up look at that just like that so cute and then we have our little envelope and then you even have look at this die cut paper shape and stamp with sentiment um so it looks like like kind of raggedy like old sending paper hugs how cute i guess i should say tattered all right it looks tattered not raggedy <laughs> Um, over here we have thanks a bunch, or like just want to say thanks a bunch, or you know just want to say hello. So you have the word hello also that you can stamp and then die cut. We have the little birdie, I mean hearts, the little kind of more organic fun looking heart, like a little artsy. You have the little envelopes that you can also cut out. Look at the sprigs, the flowers, I mean just happy mail, sending paper hugs, all these cute little things you can decorate with. And then uh, the banners, I love that. You know I love this kind of die because you can use it for all kinds of things. So really really cute and then well let me show you some inspo down here like a slim line and then this little guy with the post die is so cute so we have the dies for all those pieces and again not tiny you know um let's see a little post office box the post box mailbox is like two and a quarter inches tall the die completely edge to edge so you know just a little bit smaller when you actually die cut it to again two and a quarter ish on that too and then all your little banners and i mean look it's just a nice little stack of uh, letters i love the paper that is so cute and then these are the stamps again you can stamp your pedestal and then you can die cut this guy or you can stamp them both and just have them you know uh flat there um happy mail these are so cute. These are adorable. The little cancellations. I love that. And then um, on this side here, again, the little postcard type thing. Um, your cancellation marks, just wanted to say, you know, you have your envelopes and a stack of envelopes there. Hugs enclosed. And then it always comes with a die cutting uh, folder for the marquee. Um, the pink marquee is back in stock. It's on an extended delivery, but if you're interested in getting the pink one, it is back there. You're just going to wait a little bit, but it will go out to you. Um, so that's what this is for, but you know, if you don't have a marquee, any of these, uh, these thin metal dies will go through any machine that cuts thin metal dies. So if you have another die cutting machine, they are all interchangeable. Um, okay, so I already grabbed like a card base and things because I want to make a background and I'm gonna make a quick background so I'm gonna use the foil um, again when I applied it with a sponge the uh, tacky paste uh, it just dries faster and you can just move on you know so instead of waiting but I do want to say if you're using a stencil and use a tacky paste and it's nice and thick it just has a really cool look to it because once you foil it the paste is kind of thick right because it's paste so it has some thickness to it and then when you do the foiling it just looks like like jelly like cool so uh, a really fun technique you gotta wait for it to dry uh, mostly right till it becomes tacky and dry underneath if you're using it in a thick way but we'll talk about that right now in just a minute so I have a piece of paper here and I thought you know what I'm gonna try for a lesson paper let's see um how it sticks to that because this is a different kind of surface generally we use just cardstock or something like that too um 
stencil on and things like that. So this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And this card base I happen to find is like a, a long card base like this, which you can also do with an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. It's still a standard A2 size. It's just cut four and a quarter inches and then you still have your four and a quarter by 11 piece left for another card. And this one you score at five and a half. So it's the whole 11 inches of the paper. You cut it at four and a quarter and you score it at five and a half and you have a long card like that. So that'll be fun. So we're going to use this guy. Um, I did bring out Again, the foil rolls, um, the refill kit, or the kit, I suppose, depends on how you <laughs> look at it. It does come with its own tacky paste, the 100 milliliters, um, and then these rolls, which I showed in the unboxing. I'll include that video link in the description box. So what I'm going to do right now is just choose one, and, you know, I chose a kind of odd color paper there, the green. Uh, how about pink? Make it really fun. Ooh, the tealish kind of blue would be really great, too. Mmm, that's interesting. Let's just pick one, if I can see where we open it, around right here. You know what, let's go, let's go with the, the blue kind of tealy color. This is like a sapphire blue, or this one's a little more teal, turquoise -y. teal I guess. Uh, I'll put these guys back over here. And the, that kit does come with instructions, of course, on how to use. Um, I'm going to grab one of these sponges. Again, last time I used it, I just washed it off and, you know, kept going. So you can just definitely wash off the water-based tacky paste. Um, we have this guy going. And let me pick a stencil. These are from the Today Special. Um, ooh, I want something... You know, we did this one last time, didn't we, the dots? So let's try... Maybe something like this one. It's a little more intricate. We will work and see how that comes out. Um, so let me put some of these things away and get set up and I'll be right back. So just to have everything ready, um, I'll go ahead and use this. Again, you can do the tacky paste, you can do the foil, you can rub it with your hand for it to stick or just apply pressure that way. Um, I'm going to run it through the marquee because that's what I did last time and it worked really well. So uh, I have a flat folder, brand new one from the kit there, and then two of the slices, two pieces of uh, cardstock. They're relatively thin cardstock and they're just um, like four and a quarter by six, I guess, um, is what the sizing was. It was just some scrap paper I had. I have this set up here, uh, ready to go. Uh, I just put some tape on the back of the stencil to hold the paper like up towards it. Um, and I'm so sorry, I showed you guys this awesome little glass mat <laughs> from Diamond Press. It is not available yet, but it will be on MyDiamondPress.com shortly. So I know a lot of you guys have asked me about it, <laughs> and I'm trying to respond, but you know, sometimes I miss comments. So I did show it in the unboxing, and um, it is something that will be on MyDiamondPress.com soon, okay? So we have our tacky paste, and um, you know, I guess I could just remove this. Last time all I did was kind of lift it up a little bit, but... I suppose once you've opened it, you might as well just remove it. And let's get under here, which is what I will do now. And I have paste on here that will not go to waste, so I'm just going to take this guy and just pick this up. I mean, there's plenty on there, honestly, probably for this project. And I'm just going to take this and dab, dab, dab. Now, it has a texture to it. I'm not doing it super thin, but I'm not applying it really thick either. And that just lets it dry a little faster. And you know, we'll move on. But again, it does give a different look. So I will go through this whole thing. Okay, I think I ran out of what's on top there. Just dab, dab, dab. And then of course we're gonna wash our stencil when we are done here. And I'm doing the whole thing. Ooh, that was a little thicker application than I was <laughs> thinking about doing. Um, but you know, as nice as I can kind of just get that excess wiped off there. Um, if you want to do it in a more fun way, more organic, you don't have to cover the whole surface. I'm just doing something different today. So, okay. I'm going to go through and just make sure everything's pretty level. You don't want areas drying where the other areas aren't quite ready. And all we're going to wait is for this to become tacky. So it'll probably take a couple more minutes than before because I did lay it a little thicker down in this bottom area. But I'm going to take this and this, I'm going to toss that. And I'm just going to rinse out my little sponge so that the glue doesn't stay set on there. And I'm going to take this with me. You can kind of see what we did. It looks very mottled, very different. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. 
go rinse this off, wipe this down, I'll and I'll be back. I will pop that over here, put that away for now. Um, I guess we're done with this. And um, I already have this open, you know, ready to go. Basically, I'm going to cover that, so I want to make sure I have at least five and a half inches of this good stuff here. And I'm just eyeballing it, so I'm just going to put it on my grid here. Let's see. Four, five and a half or so. I don't know if I mentioned before, like the color part needs to face up towards you because of course that's what's going to stick and that's what you want looking at you. If you put it with the color face down, it's not going to work <laughs> uh, because the color is, you know, the actual surface of it is down here. Uh, I think we're almost there. I mean, I can tell this is a little thicker right here. So, yeah, just wait a few more minutes. I'll be back. I'm just going to take these off in the meantime though. I think we're good. I've, it's been maybe three or four minutes and hope you can kind of see it's still like, like a dull look. It's just not as shiny or as white as when I first you know put it on. Hopefully that makes sense. And so we will try it out. And again I'm just going to pop this on here. I'm going to bring it from here up just so I can see what I'm doing pretty well. And again you can use just your hands to just kind of smooth that out and really hopefully you can kind of see how it's sticking already. Maybe you can see the pattern kind of being revealed a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and pop this in here and then pop it through and maybe I should have removed the excess on the sides but I think we'll be okay. Just there with a couple sheets of paper for some extra pressure since we're not using dyes it's just paper you need a little more thickness and I will run this through very slowly. So I'm shake the camera. Wow. Hmm, let's check this out. Again, it has a different look, and maybe I should have waited just a little bit longer on some of this. Look at that. Just super cool. I probably should have waited a little longer, like I said, down here, because again, I don't know if you can see how the, what kind of came up past the uh, foil because it squished out, right? So that's kind of what I was talking to you guys about. So what I'm going to do also on this one, just to make it a little more grungy and cool, I am going to um, put a little texture paste over here with like the dots. So let me grab the dotted um, stencil and we'll do some texture paste and then we'll do our die cutting for our uh, sweet little happy mail. Okay pop some of this other stuff away I suppose. Um, let's just be real playful with this one. I'm just gonna do some, just leave it like that and just use a texture paste. So just in white. Again this is today's special. And I did leave that little plastic cover on there. I don't know I'm just used to doing that so I just did that. <laughs> but let's grab some of this texture paste. And I kind of want to go in here in this area where I had more of like where I left it a little too thick. And Again, just a little something like that. So again, I don't really care how it comes down, just try to get some cool texture in here. Maybe there. Ooh, I love it. I'm gonna go rinse this off. There's hardly anything left on here, but if there was a lot, uh, what I would do is scrape it back into here. It was literally nothing. <laughs> um, I'm going to put this to the side to dry a little bit. Look how fun that is. Running interference there for my oopsie. I'm going to put that over there. And I'm going to wipe this down and I'll so be back. to the side to dry and just taking some inspo from like the paper I use because again everything I just kind of came up with. And I, I, it's so cool. Like even the little dots that got made from the stencil just being on top of there. Oh my gosh. Okay. So um, I think what I'm going to do is going to cut out two envelopes from this green paper and I'm going to cut one out from some white paper okay and then we're going to do a little stamping and put that little like tattered kind of looking uh, note in there so let me run these through and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So let me say one in white because I think this will be like my focal one so I'm going to turn it over and just fold these little guys in how cute is that you can put that on the outside you can put it this way I think it probably looks better this way and that'll be the top so I'll do the same thing with the other ones. Now I'm thinking I was going to have them just like three envelopes and one this one open with a little note sticking out of it being like the focal um, envelope. 
but it wouldn't be cute if we did some cancellation and stuff like that because this is kind of tattered looking so I think I'm still going to fold this one over and do all that but I'm just going to glue it down even though you don't see what's going on the other side maybe we'll leave it open I don't know um so let's see my goodness <laughs> these are all so cute Maybe something like this. A little airmail. Something like that. A little tattered looking. Super cute. And then... Oh, you know what? We do need like a... A mail so I can cancel it. <laughs> um, let's see... Literally, I'm just looking at things that are sitting around me, you guys. I have this one and that teal kind of color, so that'll go back to what we have there. And then maybe some red ink for our cancellation. And we have a couple ones. This one has like a little heart and then the little lines. But let's go with this other one. I have like a kind of like a male vibe to this card, no? Let's see. Okay. And I'll use the sliced strawberry. Cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'll fold these other up. I'll fold them up just like we did this one and glue just down at the bottom. I'll be right back at this and kind of seeing what I have. I think this one I'm going to go ahead and close it up even though, you know, it looks very cute when it's open, but I'm going to close it. And I already closed up the other one too, so I'll just have it closed up just like this. Now we're back. Um, while this is still kind of drying, I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. And so I'm going to put the glue on here so I don't manipulate my card too much. Again, you at home, you would wait. <laughs> um, it was really fun when I had made the backgrounds in the initial video and then when I went to make other videos just having the backgrounds ready to go it was so nice and easy to just like have something really cool to build off of so I would definitely have a session where you just sit down and make a whole bunch of backgrounds and just have them at the ready you know but I'll be back. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp our little <laughs> how cute these are oh my gosh let's go ahead and stamp um, my little message that's gonna go in our envelope here and we have thanks a bunch love mail hugs and clothes sending paper hugs i mean lots of love a lot of these work you know with the little letter there just for you special delivery smile uh let's do just for you and so i'm just gonna put it like here that looking great um, and then I'll take the little tattered paper tattered paper right here and we can just kind of cut that out uh, so just gonna run that through and if it you know moves or becomes more playful that, that's fine for me so I'm just gonna run this through and I'll be right back Let's put this little guy put this back We'll pop this in here. Oh my goodness, how cute. Like that. And I mean, you can leave it free floating so the person can bring it out if you would like. I'm just going to glue that down. Actually, let's put a little glue down here. And then just kind of give it a zhuzh so it looks a little, a little more fun. Okay, so where was I going to put these? Something like that. Or maybe this way. Maybe that way too, and then this guy up here. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this guy down. As you can see, the texture paste is still wet. You know what? That looks cuter. Okay, I'm gonna hold it down. And then this little guy, like up here. Can see a little more of it and I'm just leaving them kind of more organic so they're stuck down but they're just kind of not super stuck down <laughs> and then let me put some dimensional on this one so I can pop it on top and I'll bear back. It's so funny how it's so shiny so like the the camera's like I don't know all right um maybe just in there if I'm gonna put it there then you know what I need to bring this in a little bit 
more off of that. I left a little piece here and I know I shouldn't have. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then this little guy kind of judged. There it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, I give you some ideas. You know, this set is so cute. And there's so much more to go along, you know, to you can do with this. I, I just was like, I need to make envelopes. <laughs> I really want to play with the cancellations. So that's what I did. But really, really sweet set. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much, Diamond Press, for sending these items for review. I'll have images coming up, and I'll have the links in the description box. And I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.